The truth is, AI is already disrupting the job market faster than any technological revolution we've seen before. Will the robots take over? Will we all be out of a job? Let's cut through the noise and look into what's really going on. Think back to factory automation in the 1900s, ATMs impacting bank tellers or the rise of e-commerce. This time it feels different and for a good reason. Companies are making it clear, implementing AI is a key priority for 2025 and beyond, with a staggering 73% expecting to use AI-enabled solutions. In fact, 73% admit to prioritizing hiring AI talent. This isn't just talk. A recent Pew Research study found out that 52% of the US workforce are worried about AI taking over their jobs. So yes, the anxiety is real. Now which jobs are more at risk? Mine for sure, Gen AI is already peaking and soon they will have insane performance for cheap. Jokes apart, if your role involves highly repetitive or mundane tasks, the answer is likely yes. AI excels at automation handling, interactions in customer service through chatbots, analyzing market trends, and even basic news articles. We've seen examples of entire companies replacing dozens of workers with just one person overseeing AI tools. But it's not going to completely take over. Hopefully forever, the same forces driving AI adoption are also creating new opportunities. The World Economic Forum predicts AI could lead to the creation of around 78 million new jobs by 2030. These are often roles that enable AI function like machine learning engineers, software developers and data scientists. And it's not just tech roles, many existing jobs will evolve to collaborate with AI and not compete against it. Think nurses using AI for diagnostics, but still providing essential care. Or journalists using AI for research, but still crafting thoughtful narratives and storytelling. These are roles where human expertise, empathy, creativity, and leadership still reign supreme. The key takeaway here isn't about being replaced, it's about adaptation. Anyone in any role will need to update their skills, that is well known, and find ways to incorporate these AI-powered tools into their current job role. So instead of fearing AI, we need to see it as a tool to enhance our productivity. Imagine a mechanical engineer using AI to analyze complex data faster, or content creators using AI for outlining ideas and saving time for creativity. You are already seeing this on Instagram. For programmers, and software developers, AI is just another tool, not a replacement, making it more important than ever to understand the coding fundamentals. And beyond programming, the tech industry is full of fields like DevOps, design and cybersecurity, areas where human decision-making, creativity, and critical thinking still matter deeply. So how do we prepare for this evolving landscape? Number one, upskilling. Learn to use AI tools relevant to your field. Focus on future-proof skills like problem solving, creativity, emotional intelligence, and leadership. And consider certifications in high demand areas to boost your profile. Second, shift your mindset. View AI as an assistant, not a threat, because that will embrace continuous learning and be willing to adapt your skills and career path as the market changes. Third, financial preparedness. Build an emergency fund. Minimize debt and unnecessary expenses so you have more flexibility during transitions. In case you want to transition into an AI-only role, in this case, you would need financial assistance. So for future financial assistance, the only person you can trust is yourself. Right, now fourth, have a professional strategy. Focus on senior level skills like strategic thinking and problem solving. Seek out roles where you can use AI to do your job better. And consider building multiple income streams for added stability. So looking ahead, the future of work will constantly evolve. Some experts predict that by 2030, a significant percentage of jobs will be roles that don't even exist today. Yes, it's true. 41% of the companies globally are planning workforce reductions due to AI. But as history shows, new technologies eliminate old jobs while creating space for new industries. Ultimately, the future of work isn't something that's happening to us. It's something we would get to shape. The real divide won't be between humans and AI. It will be between those who adapt and those who don't. So what side do you want to be on? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Are you thinking about how AI will impact your career? 
and what steps are you taking to prepare? If you found this helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more insights on the future of AI, technology and work. Thank you. Meet you in another video.